One of the most common questions we get from new parents is, what is Isofix? In essence, there are three different stages of car seats used for babies and children. Newborn seats known as Group 0 or 0 plus infant carriers. Group 1 car seats for children who have outgrown their infant carrier. And finally, Group 2-3 seats for children who have obtained the weight of 18 kilos, normally at about 4 years of age. In some cases, a specific model of car seat may span more than one group. These are known as multi-group seats. It is UK law that your child remains in a car seat until they reach 12 years of age or obtain the height of 1m35. Whichever group of car seat you will be using, the Isofix option will be available. Traditionally, a child's car seat has been secured by using the standard adult three-point seat belt. This system is still in use and it has one positive. Seat belts help to absorb the high g-forces that occur in serious accidents, which in turn may reduce injury to your child. However, there are two negatives with the seat belt system. Firstly, dependent on the child's car seat design, in some circumstances it may take some time to secure it into the car. This is not a problem if you leave the child's car seat in the car, but if you're constantly moving it, you may consider this an odious task. Secondly, around 82% of belted car seats are not fitted correctly because parents, grandparents and friends do not follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to fit the car seat safely, or the child's car seat does not fit correctly in the car. Not all car seats fit all cars. Isofix is a rigid fixing system designed to automatically lock a child's car seat or the car seat base without the need to use the adult seat belt. It's a fact that a higher percentage of Isofix seats and bases are fitted correctly. In consequence, for some parents it may be easier, faster and possibly safer to use the Isofix system than by using the seat belt method. But, because of the extra technology involved, the child's car seat and accessories will be more expensive. All new models of cars must, by law, have Isofix brackets and also have a third point where you can secure a strap known as a top tether. The tether strap point may vary from being on the floor, in the car's pillar or on the back of an adult seat and the idea of the tether strap is to stop the child's car seat from rotating from the two Isofix brackets. The Isofix brackets themselves are located at the bottom of an adult seat. Occasionally you may have to search for them because they are placed deep into the infrastructure. It's onto these two brackets that the extendable bayonets of the child car seat or base is secured. Some older cars may have Isofix brackets but not a tether strap point, however it may still be possible to use an Isofix car seat as some child car seat manufacturers produce car seats and bases with support legs so to make the third point. However, support legs cannot be used directly onto a cover of an underfloor storage box. There are a few exceptions to the points we have just mentioned. Hane produce a range of Isofix car seats and bases which incorporate a pneumatic shock absorption system which acts similar to seat belts and lower accident g-forces and Brightax produce a car seat for children weighing between 9 and 18 kilos which in a few cars does not need a third point to secure. In our view Isofix can benefit if you're constantly taking a car seat in and out of the same car or constantly transferring the seat from one car to another or if the seat is a multi-group stage 2 and 3 seat and can only recline if attached to the Isofix brackets. A typical example of this is the Hane Monte Carlo R1 Extend, a multi-group car seat suitable for children from about 15 months to around 12 years of age, which easily reclines but must be connected to the Isofix system to do so. Please remember, not all car seats fit all cars and buying online is always second best to having the car seat fitted by professionals. We do not recommend that you use any multiple store as their advice has been proven by a leading consumer organisation to be inconsistent and not always accurate. Our in-car safety experts will always be pleased to discuss your needs and concerns, so please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or would like a highly competitive quote. Finally, can we mention that we work with a number of bodies committed to in-car safety and at the time of filming we were in the middle of a series of safety days working in conjunction with Portsmouth City Council, checking car seats totally free of charge. If you live local to us, please check the Portsmouth City Council website for dates and venues.